who have stormed off the job, claiming privatisation is putting lives on the line. The drivers warn many of our buses are faulty. According to the government, the strike was a stunt. Rockingham bus drivers claim these buses are a risk to public safety, that some have faulty brakes, faulty exit doors, no indicators, no headlights, but they're still being told to drive them. Well, they've had um, drivers driving from Mandra in a link bus with 95 people on it with a blown out back tyre. Drivers are also protesting against poor working conditions, this one claiming he burnt his arm after being forced to fix a mechanical problem en route. The accusation started flying less than two weeks after the court government sold the last of WA's bus fleet. Today, one of four private companies ran into trouble. Drivers for Southern Coast Transit walked off the job at 6am, leaving commuters in Rockingham, Quinana and Mandurah stranded. Oh, it's my birthday and we're going up to Perth for the day for my birthday. So that's pretty bad. Oh, pretty inconvenient. Can't get home. <laughs> but the Transport Workers Union claims drivers are putting safety first. And what they're really concerned about is that when the, the companies are being notified that there, is, there are defaults, that they are being instructed to continue driving while they have passengers on board. The union says the Rockingham depot is not the only one with problems. They say they're widespread, affecting all depots, all private companies. And they're expecting further strike action. According to the government, it's all a stunt. The standard of the buses and the safety of the vehicles has improved since we brought in the private sector to operate because they simply wouldn't operate vehicles that were below standard. It is not at all surprising that we're seeing a strike like this. We've had uh, five and a half years where there has been virtually no investment in our, in our uh, public transport system. Rockingham drivers will return to work tomorrow. Their union warning there's worse ahead when students return to school next week. Mignon Henny, 10 years.